So welcome to my latest mod. This is VR for Dread. This is my first time making a VR mod, and I think it's going pretty well so far. Uh, currently, instead of having you know fully working hands, I just have these uh, boy uh, models, and uh, I'm now realizing that my laser pointer casts shadows. <laughs> we'll fix that later. So here we are in the game, we have like a bit of a third person perspective on the boat. I didn't want to stick the camera right on the front of the boat because, you know, you upgrade your boat throughout the game. I wanted to make sure that you could actually see that still. And here we are sailing around. One thing you might notice is that uh, the ocean is uh, perfectly calm. And that is of course because, you know, seasickness is bad enough in real life. Motion sickness is bad enough in VR. Uh, combining the two and <laughs> well you get the idea no sail in the ocean Works pretty well. You can get jump scared by creatures. Oh, he is freaky looking. Now the mod is, you know, in pretty early development. So right now I've just kind of slapped the regular UI, you know, just floating right in front of you. Right now, you know, I'm trying to interact with the stuff in my inventory. That doesn't work yet, but you can at least navigate most menus. You know, I can look at my map of the world and exit out of that. But, you know, this is a, first and foremost, a fishing game, and currently fishing doesn't work in VR. So I'm not going to fully release the mod until that's done. But I do have a Patreon where I think I'll put, you know, early development builds up for anyone who wants to support the project. But yeah, some things do work, like I'm talking to the traveling merchant right now. I can fully interact with him and all that. Yeah. I want to keep spoilers to a minimum so I won't actually read through the conversation. I'm going to try and see if anything will... <laughs> pop up out here so I can actually show off some uh, something more than the ocean. I have no idea what was floating up in the sky right now. I don't even know if you could see that in the recording. But like I said, you know, early early version of the mod. <laughs> yeah. Oh jeez. That's ow. Okay. Am I still being chased? Yes I am. Can you come like right up to the dog I wonder? Still chasing? No, you gave him. See so, yeah. Ooh. There are a number of things I have to do to like get this working, you know, with some amount of performance. The main thing was that there's like height map terrain. I don't know if it is necessarily like these cliffs, but I definitely know it does the ocean floor where for whatever reason like the level of detail on that drastically affected performance. But you know, looking at the the mountains and cliffs and stuff, I can't really tell if anything is looking, you know, bad yet. Of course, a big thing is that, so currently in my recording, I'm recording out of my left eye. That's because if I close my left eye and look here, I can't, <laughs> I can't see these, these particle effects. So let me 
Switch that over. Right eye. Don't see anything. You don't even see my light. So there's something with the shaders. I'm gonna have to look into that as well. Of course, another big change I'd want to make is to have, you know, more of the UI be kind of diegetic. Like one thing we're missing is normally there's a compass up here, you know, so I plan to you know, instead have that compass be like, you know, say something you could hold or have it otherwise, you know, physically appear in the scene instead of just being this like flat UI. But for now, if you just want to sail around the game and see the sights, that certainly works. I'm trying to remember, there's a there's a creature around here. I want to find him. Maybe he's over here. He's not coming out. <laughs> Yeah, he's not here. Okay. Well, that's somewhat of a letdown. But yeah, that's about it for the mod so far. I mean, you know, pretty big step has been made in, you know, having the game actually physically appear in VR. But still a lot of gameplay stuff that I gotta work on. So thanks for watching. If you have any opinions on how I should maybe do things, you know, any opinions on how maybe the UI should work, then please let me know in the comments. If you want to see more about this project, you know, you can subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to my Patreon. If you want to play that early development version, I'll get that up there eventually. But, you know, in the long run, uh, I will be making this mod, you know, free and open source and all that. So uh, you don't have to worry about <laughs> not being able to play it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.